Oh. Thank you for tuning in to hashtag give us a hug. I'm your girl, Arthur Erica, and I have my friend on one, Kim, today. Um, we're gonna talk about this little thing called sisterhood that we have been trying to do all morning. Guys, only if you guys know how long this been a process and i think um the devil been really busy, it's busy. yes because <laughs> we've been trying all morning to get this together and we just just finally able to get it together so i'm your i'm your girl author erica again and i have my friend my sister kim on today go ahead kim take the flow what you got going on this morning? <laughs> What? Hi, everyone. It's Kim with Quality Day Foundation. How are y'all today? Hope everybody's having a quality day. <laughs> so, as you all know, um, if y'all have not seen the Red Table Talk, she, um, Jada Pink and her mom and her daughter had the two ladies from ESPN on talking mm -hmm. about sisterhood. And sisterhood is something that me and Kim been working on for. Um, and I think sisterhood is something that, you know, listen to those ladies talk that we need to bind together because they had a lot of people trying to tell them apart. Mm -hmm. And it, it worked. Like they literally be friends with each other. And come to find out they had a whole lot in common that other ladies we don't realize that we have to one another. So I wanted to talk, we wanted to talk about how we grow this friendship, how we grow this sisterhood, how we build this, how we bring all of us as sisters together. So Kim, what you got that what your take is on sisterhood? Let's talk about that. Uh, my take would be that we get along. Um, we should be able to, as women, come together and talk about any and everything without being judged. And if something is wrong, I should be able to come to you as a woman and say, hey, X, Y, and Z. And then we need to try to fix it if it's fixable. That to me is what a real sisterhood is about. We're not, I'm not in a competition with anyone. You know, we're to me, we're on the same playing field. You know, we're two black women out here trying to get it. And we should both be um, pretty much each other's cheerleader and letting us and helping each other along the way to get to the finish line. Because as long as I'm going, you should be right along with me. There should be no one left behind. We should all be on the same playing field. I find that most women are intimidated by each other. Mm -hmm. I understand why we are intimidated by one another because mm -hmm. we can do the same thing and mm -hmm. still be successful. Even if I bake cakes and Kim bake cakes, we should still be able to be successful. And not only that, we should be able to trade. Okay, well, Kim, look, this is what I did. Mm -hmm. You want to try? Uh, I'm trying with Kim have. Never know. We can put something together. Together, um, yes. Uh, amazing. Because mm -hmm. I, I think we are, we are some smart creatures. Mm -hmm. We're very smart. Like, mm -hmm. I that the main thing with the whole sisterhood thing is that is lack of communication. Yes. Well, one want to hear something and the other one don't. And lack of communication, it could be selective listening. Whereas they selective what they want to hear mm -hmm. from the other person. Mm -hmm. You agree, Kim? Yes, I agree. I agree. I think me and you just had that earlier today when I'm like, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying. Not for a response, but to listen to exactly what you say. And then I come back and I how I receive what you said and interpret it to what I said or what you said, I'm sorry. And then we kind of go from there. And that's how you listen to someone, not to 
I'm about to pop off and it's going to be this whole, no, I'm listening. Now let me make sure this is what I heard. So then we can go now to the next step to solve whatever the problem is. Right. And I think listening, listening is very important. Even in our mm -hmm. personal life, you mm -hmm. have to, listen. you have to listen to what one another said. We just can't brush it off and say, oh, I think I heard. And I like what Kim did. She, I said something and she was like, okay, well, this is what I interpret that you said. Mm -hmm. And some have to do that. And it's sisters, believe me, it's not that because you think someone is slow. No, it's not that. She just mm -hmm. wanted to make sure she heard exactly what I was saying. Not mm -hmm. to say that I was slow, not to say she was slow. And we have to take time to do that because sometimes we, we might not hear it all. And you got to mm -hmm. interpret back, even in person, like you have right. to. You have to say, okay, well, I heard this. Is this correct? Not mm -hmm. just fly off the hinges by what you thought you heard, mm -hmm. because then that becomes another whole, a whole nother baby. Right, and that's right. Where communication come in. That's where your disagreement come in. And sisters, we shouldn't have that that many disagreements about small stuff. And Kim, also, I find too with um the whole sisterhood thing is that we don't like to be friends. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just this jealousy thing. Yeah, it is. It's hard to be friends with someone that um, has some type of vendetta against you. Um, you don't know it, but how they move around you shows, you know, who they are. So, um you just have to kind of just pay attention to the signs or what's going on, you know, around, around you. You know what I mean? Like what I've noticed is, you know, these days, since we're all kind of in this quarantine and even though, you know, we're all black, you know, entrepreneurs, even though you might bake a cake, like I bake a cake, but you might have a cake that makes you stand out more than me. So instead of being in competition with each other, hey, okay, you're good at the seven up cake and I'm good at the, I don't know, a cake, a, a German chocolate cake. And then <laughs> we could just, am I saying that right? Because you know me and the cakes. I know cakes. I don't know about really about has, but um, but you know, we could still come together and still build something from well she's good at this and she's good at that and then we can take that and merge together and have this happy cake life you know right. which i don't see why you know that's i don't right. I, I don't get it mm -hmm. and and you know sometimes as me and kim we don't we didn't know each other in the beginning but mm -hmm. we learn to grow to learn from one another mm -hmm. we know one another and mm -hmm. it's something that me and Kim have just and we have some things in common and mm -hmm. ladies sometimes you just don't know like that sister that you hate mm -hmm. you might you it might be a reason y'all don't like each other because y'all two of a kind two of a kind so, right <laughs> it is okay to find mm -hmm. out Set up, have a conversation with that sister <laughs> and find out mm -hmm. Like me and Kim, we just sit down and sometimes we'll sit down and just have a conversation about different things. And it's some things that Kim like, I like. It's mm -hmm. some place Kim been, I have been. Or it might it might be something totally different, but you just never know what you know or if that lady have that same thing in common with you. So Kim, tell me, have you had any bad experience on, you know, being friends with another female? Well, I think we all have bad experiences with, you know, females because we're females, you know, I mean, you don't know until, you know, you get older. But I mean, yeah, I mean, from, you know, uh, elementary school, high school, it's always something, you know, she got she's trying to date my boyfriend, even though he ain't your boyfriend, but he she's trying to date my boyfriend. You know, it's just certain things that, you know, women do vindictive, unhappy toxic women do right. um but when you know you're not about that toxic life then you see them for who they are so then you know that you need to remove yourself from being 
are hanging around that person. I mean, I've I've always felt like I've been a good person. You know, I'm definitely um, no judge. I don't judge you for. I don't care what your sexual life is. I don't care. I listen because sometimes it should be entertaining. Cause you be like, oh, <laughs> you know. Are. I got one. I got one of those girlfriends whose stories is just off the chain. Just you be like, this, this, this really didn't happen in real life, did it? It could have happened in real life. I don't believe that. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, I don't judge her. I love her all the same, and she knows that she can come and talk to me about anything. But the problem that I have with that particular relationship is it's a one-sided relationship. Right. She can. She knows she can call me for anything. She knows that she. She know if I if she needs me, I'm there. If she just want to tell me about one of her crazy stories, she know I'm gonna listen. But then when I try to return the favor and call her, I don't get that. I don't get the response that, you know, I've given to her. So then it puts you into, okay, so what are we going to do with this? Like, are are we going to continue this friendship or are we going to let this friendship go? But, you know, you have to figure out how to level it out. You know, if it's something that is tolerable, well, we have to define that because everything that's tolerable ain't for everybody. Um, I mean, I still love her. It, I just know that our friendship is not the same. And and that's not by my new one. It's by her doing. So how does that make you feel? Because I know I had an experience with a, with a lady. She mm-hmm. befriended me and thinking, okay, well, we're going to be friends. We book authors. And, you know, we should do these things together. And when it all said and done, she was just looking for information. And when she got the information, she de- she blocked me. She- That's not a friend. Huh? That's not a friend. Right. So that made me feel some type of way. I went back mm-hmm. into that mold of I don't want new girlfriends. I don't mm-hmm. want to be new friends with girls no more. How mm-hmm. did that situation make you feel? Did that make you feel like you didn't want to be friends with a girl no more? Well, friends with anybody, I don't care if you're male or female, shit, you know, I mean, I know we're talking about sisterhood, but yeah, because after so long with whoever you're dealing with, you come back and then you start uh, self, what's the word, analyzing yourself and trying to figure out, are you the problem? And then what did you do wrong? But then come to find out it's not you. It's never you. It's, 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 not saying that it's never you. I mean, you can play a part in it, but in but that particular situation, it wasn't me. It was you. And, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what to do. I just stepped back. That's all I did. I just stepped back, you know, because I'm the one who's calling you. I'm the one who's texting you. I'm the one that's, you know, Facebook, Snapchat, all that, Instagram, all that, you know, and I can't get the simplest, hey, how you doing? But I'm the one who keeps, you know, reaching out to you. So you just have to step back. And then once you step back, you really get to see where you really stand in these people's lives. You really start seeing little rainbows, as I call it. They look pretty rainbows. mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And it's it's awful. It's kind of heartbreaking that um, we can't get it together. Mm -hmm. And journey our journey is mm-hmm. gonna bring this sisterhood back mm-hmm. close as possible as we can and we mm-hmm. also doing different things together to show that mm-hmm. we can work together we don't mm-hmm. have to we we here to disagree to agree if that makes sense and that's yes. all it is we're gonna disagree to to, to agree and that's mm-hmm. all it is but at the end of the day we have a common goal to bring build relationships together and that's basically what sister Hill building relationships yes. exactly you know so I I want to see my thing is this how can we do this and I think starting with me and Kim I think yes. that's what we should start at to mm-hmm. say okay here this is what this is what sisterhood really is and y'all let me tell y'all me and Kim talk we don't, when we record and when we do shows together and we have a big project that we have not coming up. So we'll tell y'all about that at the end, but we have a, we have a big project that we're working on. But let mm-hmm. me tell you on the phone, hours, 
we like yeah. timing all the time we texting Mm -hmm. but we still building that relationship and we still getting to know each other because we and then we're in two different states so you mm -hmm. don't have to have a friendship that's in the same state with you we mm -hmm. live in different states i live mm -hmm. in north I live in texas so guess what mm -hmm. i seeing each other but it makes the relationship even better so mm -hmm. when we get together it's gonna be a ball. Uh, it's gonna be amazing and it's yeah. good. I like it because mm -hmm. I like to meet new people, but I like to meet people that on my level. Mm -hmm. and my being doing everything from the heart, and that's what Kim is everything mm -hmm. from the heart. Mm -hmm. so, Kim, what are our goals? What we what we achieve? What we want to achieve with this sisterhood thing that we can show people and other females that sisters we can work together. Um, a a unity. Um, a true okay. sisterhood, as in, you know, not anything bad. It's just, you know, we are women that are trying to get to the next level and we're trying to bring our sister with us. You know, we are locking arms. We are holding each other accountable for whatever needs to be done so we can get to the finish line together, period. That's how I see it. I see. I see also communication communication mm -hmm. is everything you know understanding mm -hmm. one and guess what mm -hmm. as women you know we all gonna have those times where girl i don't want to hear nothing you say and y'all know we have our little aunties that visit us monthly so our little <laughs> gonna change. yes lord child. So like that's that's all in part of being that so, so you have to mm -hmm. know how to I must. I I need to know what Kim did. Kim like this on this time one, but I'm gonna catch her later, and also give her that space because sometimes she might get tired of me. I know she do, because especially when she said, "Well, Erica, I want to do this, and Erica, I want to do that," and I'm like, "Oh, her like Kim, we need to get this done. Kim, we need to get this done," and I know she about like, "Don't text me no more. Don't call me," because that's how it is. We hold one another accountable, and at the same time, I want her to do the same thing with me because sometimes. Guess what? I'm not perfect, Patty. Guess what? I slip all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. I be slip through, but I come, mm -hmm. come back. Come back. But That's I, the point. Come back, though. <laughs> well, our goal is with this sisterhood, with this sisterhood, not this sisterhood, but sisterhood, we want to show you guys that it can be done. Two black women. We want y'all to follow us on this journey because this mm -hmm. is going to be I don't know where it's going. It might be in a in a in a sea somewhere. You know what? <laughs> it might be in Mississippi River. Uh, but I like the water. I'm just saying, not nasty water, but I like the water. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord! Mm -hmm. But we want to tell our journey, and we hope that our journey inspire y'all to do y'all part. So yes. it's gonna take work, and it ain't gonna mm -hmm. always. It's not gonna always be perfect. Everything, mm -hmm. nothing's perfect. If it's mm -hmm. perfect, took the run. I don't want it. But mm -hmm. the goal is to bring 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 awareness to sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it together. Mm -hmm. We can work together. We can do things together, and we can love each other. Mm -hmm. I don't love it, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. you, I agree. Time, but, uh, <laughs> uh huh. I agree. Uh -huh, I agree. <laughs> so, sisterhood is something that I want to see. Mm -hmm. I don't just want to talk about it. I want this to happen, and we're gonna keep talking about it. We're gonna keep mm -hmm. talking. I'll keep bringing awareness to it. Mm -hmm. And you know what else I do find out too, Kim? With as females, I think it's more of the um self-love kind of thing it starts with themselves yeah it starts within you it does think, you know i think that's where the problem kind of mm -hmm. lies for some of us as women mm -hmm. we struggle with that mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. but so self-love sisters we gotta mm -hmm. love and we gotta love ourselves to be good sisters mm -hmm. to the mm-hmm Oh, what you have to say, Kim? 
I agree with that. I totally agree with that. You know, where I lack, you know, my sister should be able to have, you know, that ability to bring me out of where I'm lacking it. Again, you know, we're putting each other on the same to be, as they say, equally yoked. So, you know, I struggle. I admit that I struggle. It's hard to be, you know, friends with women um, for various reasons. But to today, what is this November 6th? So we going we gonna to start this journey and this journey to sisterhood to show people that it can be done with two black women in two different states. Um, for not just individual businesses, but a business together. And not only that, even with age bracket, because we have older women that don't like younger women. What you mean? Man, I'm 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 older than y'all. So what are you talking about? Exactly. But you do have older women that don't like younger women. What you mean? Define that. younger. What you mean younger? Are we talking about them twenties? Like the twenties and the thirty year olds. Y'all don't like us sometimes. Wait a minute now. Now, maybe on the 20 year olds, you know, because, you know, y'all still got, you know, breast, uh, breast milk on your lips. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, the 30s, I mean, 30s, you should, by 30, you should know, you should have something, you know, knowing what you want to do with yourself. You know, 20s, you know, everybody calls, you know, you're 20, you're, you're trying to figure things out. And, you know, you can't hold anybody when they're 20, 21, 22. I mean, yeah, you can hold them accountable, but you really can't hold them accountable because you have to think about how old were you or what you think about when you were 20, 21, 22, uh -huh. and how at the age of when you are now, it's called growth. We all have had that. So you really can't hold them accountable for that. You know, you just kind of just look at them, keep it pushing. You know, some... It might be, you know, been a here before a little bit, not a lot of bit, but a little bit, you know, but I kind of miss with you. I dabble with you a little bit, but it won't be a whole lot of because, you know, I'm, I'm not out here drinking and partying. I mean, that's just but, you know, but you got some grandmas that's out here that's, you know, drinking and partying. But again, we're two different people. Exactly. So our age mm -hmm. dynamic is different. So we're going to show y'all all of that, like, this This is a journey that we're going to take. And we hope that you ladies follow suit, find that one lady, that that one sister that y'all can work together. And ladies, even if y'all sitting there listening, find mm -hmm. that one sister that you may have had a fuss with. Go mm -hmm. clean, clean that situation up. Get to know that sister because... <laughs> What I got the church ring. What that church ring on me? I got the church ring. Oh, Wait, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because sometimes, you, sometimes some of them relationships is unrepairable. You can't do that. You can't go back. And you know, I I get what you're saying. Like I totally get that. Like you should. But in our actuality, once you know who you're dealing with, sometimes you just you know you got to send up a prayer with them. Leave it in God's hand and keep pushing. You can't, you can't be friends with everybody. I mean, I'm saying like the ones you think you can salvage. Okay, okay, sorry, I've sorry. sorry. With that sister and okay, you know, clean that situation up because you just never know. Y'all might can come up with something together. It's together. Mm -hmm. So that's what we come today to talk about sisterhood. Let's bring it together, sisters. Let's. Be strong as one because when as we one. when we want we powerful. So that's sisterhood. Join us on that journey and mm -hmm. all you know, huh? We telling our news. Go ahead. Go ahead. You you all right, sisters. <laughs> we me and Kim. We got a new TV show coming out. It's gonna call hashtag give a sister a hug. Mm -hmm. Why not? Fridays with mm -hmm. Arthur Erica and Arthur Kim. Yes, I did say Arthur Kim because she do have a book coming pretty soon. Ooh, come on with it. Come on with it. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Out in January, um, we're going to have our first show and we're going to show y'all different things. We're going to talk about stress and mm -hmm. relationship because mm -hmm. sex. sex is a thing that we all deal with a lot. So we're going <sighs> to 
we going to talk about it all later. We go. Right. Yeah, we come in with different things and we are going to take this sisterhood journey seriously. Mm-hmm. And I saw it. I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. I'm about me to too. Yes, me too. She, that's me all. Too. She, um, Sorry. <laughs> So I want to say thank y'all for tuning in to hashtag give us a hug. I'm your girl, the Erica, and I have my sidekick and my friend Kim with me. That's all she do is smile, y'all. <laughs> hey, that's a ball to her. She, yeah. <laughs> a sister. That's that sister won't be cute, and we all have one of those sisters. <laughs> You have anything to say before we leave, girl? Oh, uh, <laughs> I just want to actually say thank you to you because, because. I didn't because I didn't know you a year ago, but I think I've been knowing you what eight nine months now, almost a year. I don't know. It's been a while, and I actually have enjoyed watching our friendship grow. That is what you call sisterhood. Um, You definitely have been holding Kim accountable where she has been lacking. Um, and y'all should see her when she get mad. Who is something completely different, honey? Who you see now? Who that ain't her? Who? But uh. <laughs> She a different person. I don't know who that is, but she's somebody <laughs> different. But I love her all in the same because she is about her business. She when she says she wants us to win, she means that. She means that we do we we are locking arms and we doing this together. So when I step right, you stepping right, and we just gonna keep stepping together. Period. So I want to say thank you to no Arthur Erica for being just as great as she is because she's wonderful. I try to. I just um I feel like, you know, if I'm on this journey, I feel like I wanna bring the next person who's with me. Like I mm-hmm. want to do the same thing we do, I do mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. because we both have talent in different ways. So mm-hmm. just open you up to this, like this is gonna be amazing. Like we we get to show who we are, like not exactly who we are, but we get to show who we are. Right. It's working together. We're trying to go somewhere and we're trying to do yes. things. And um, it's going to be amazing. Like, I'm looking forward to it. I'm so ready. So, yeah. Y'all be on the lookout. So, I want to say thanks again. And thanks, Kim, for being my good friend and my co host that don't do nothing but smile and wave. That's it. That's that sister, you know. So, it's fun. Yes. So, Y'all have, arrows. <laughs> y'all have a good day. And yes. um, we look forward to y'all joining us on this journey. Yes. And it also, if they have any questions or anything they do want us to talk about, any, you know, open, we are open for, you know, whatever ideas as in which I want us to talk about. Okay. Nothing sexual, really. Um, what are we on recording? Oh, we are. Okay. But yeah. Oh, you talking about Marie Missy? Anyway, that's all. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, if y'all have any, you know, topics that y'all want us to talk about, then we definitely can uh, do that for y'all. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, you can follow us both, you know, on the Instagram and the Facebook at uh, hashtag Give a Sister a Hug. It's a group of women that we come together. We um, talk about different things, and um, we. we uh, we support one another and then you can follow quality day foundation um on facebook and instagram as well we are a nonprofit for domestic violence so if you're in need we're there to help you and then also shout out my girl be the purpose we're gonna go see see these yeah, yeah. Be yeah. The got your sisterhood so you get a sisterhood bracelet got that and then self-love got that so yeah she hooks you up if you need be thank you <laughs> And you can also hit me. I'm at I'm on Facebook and Instagram at To the Max Records, both oh, Facebook and Instagram. And I have the new book that just dropped on yesterday. 
So yes. it's back. It's available on Amazon paperback. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. I also have the journey. Um, it's available on Amazon too, paperback and Kindle. And I also have the which, audio- is good, which is good by the way. Sorry. I, <laughs> about that. I have the journey on audio or uh, speaker.com. Mm-hmm. So y'all can check that out. Amazing. We got amazing things coming for the new year. So y'all just keep your eyes here. Have a good one. Bye. Okay.